So in this video, we'll be talking about work offsets and how they are implemented in the MyCNC software. So to access the work offsets, you can head into your configuration tab, CNC settings, uh, work offsets, and here you will have a table with all the values for your coordinate systems G54 through to G59, and then the three additional coordinate systems uh, G59.1, 0.2, 0.3 and they're all presented in this table right here. So to start off, uh, what is an offset? Uh, so physically, your offset will indicate the difference between the program and the machine coordinates in your selected coordinate system. So here uh, we can actually navigate back to the main screen just to see how it will work. So here, I am currently at the position of uh, 71, 38, and negative 26 for my machine coordinates. And let's say I would like to move to 0. So that will be G53, uh, G90, and G0. And then uh, X0, Y0, Z0. So we'll be moving to 0 in all three coordinates. So as you can see here, the marker has moved. Uh, to this uh, blue marker right here. Uh, so we are currently at the machine zero. And let's say if we now zero the program coordinates right here, and uh, remember I'm in G55. So we have zero in all three of them. Let's say we now check what the G55 offsets are back in our settings. And you can see here that the G5 offsets are all at zero. So why is that? Well, uh, we currently don't have any offset to speak of because both the program coordinates and the machine coordinates are on top of each other. So here, let's say I move to uh, five in my X coordinate and then I zero that value so I have 0 for my program coordinates and 5 in my machine coordinates. And naturally we would expect this offset to be 5, so the difference between our machine coordinates and our program coordinates is 5 for the x-axis. And uh, you can also see that we have the two markers here, uh, the red marker for the program coordinates and uh, the blue for the machine coordinates, and there's a, a five millimeter difference between the two. So now let's say we move uh, by a larger distance, let's say we move by uh, 30 millimeters, and we'll move uh, 30 millimeters to the right, then we'll move 30 millimeters uh, in uh, Y and Z coordinate, and then we zero our value, you can see that the red cursor, so again, the red cursor is our program coordinate. It has moved um, down below and uh, further away from the blue machine coordinate. So now let's say we move into the G54 uh, coordinate system. So now we have a completely different set of offsets. And here, let's say I can now zero the Y and the Z coordinates to align them with my G55 coordinate system. And for the X coordinate, I will uh, move it and then zero that. And now when we're switching between G54 and G55, we expect the whole program to shift uh, since the uh, G-code program is using program coordinates. And uh, here, as you can see, it's shifting by 30 millimeters in the x-axis uh, when we take this uh, blue marker, which is our machine zero, as reference. So it's either shifting closer or further away. And if we go back to our settings, we can now see that our offsets are the same uh, between G54 and G55 for Y and Z coordinates, and they're different by 30 millimeters for the 
x coordinate. So effectively in this window you would maybe change the values for those offsets, uh, but typically what you would do is you would use these buttons for zeroing the respective coordinates for your axis for the selected coordinate system to set some sort of an offset. Thank you for watching. Please visit our documentation at docs.pbautomation.com for more information.